Hello, I would like to show you um, how you can use Brainweaver. So Brainweaver is a program that has two modules. It has an assessor module and a student module. And actually to use it you first need to use the assessor module, then the student module, and then the assessor module again. Um, so I will uh, show these in sequence so that you can see how it's used. First module is the assessor module. So I've already started it up. So the text is in Dutch, but the first thing we as an assessor need to do is to create an assignment. So let's create an assignment. Brain Weaver is. This will be the focal question. And here we can do stuff with um, when as an assessor you have to um, grade or classify the results of the student. But for now I focus on the focal question, which is Brain Weaver is. And I'm going to save this file as demo. Alright, so that was um, the first part. So we've now, what we'll be doing is we'll now email this file to the student. Alright, I will now continue with the student module. So the student module, it always starts with opening up a file. So I just created demo, so um, I continue from there. So open it up, I need to give it my name, which is Shell build a bake and I'm going to start the um, my association or construction with it. Well, I'd like to uh, go directly to a concept map. So here I have, this is the main screen, I will create a concept map here. So I'm going to, double by double clicking, I create a new concept. And for example, Brainweaver is a piece of software. With F2 you get to this screen and I'm going to give the, give the concept a name I'm going to store it so Brainweaver is software, I'm going to connect it there you go and Brainweaver is of course, so again with F2 to edit it Brainweaver is of course an instrument and it's described in an article by Van Dan Bogart Bogart 2016. I'm not completely sure, but I'm just going to add it. Uh, of course, Van and Bogart at all 2016. All right, so I've added, I've created a concept with uh, an example because uh, there are multiple uh, articles that cite a Brainweaver. I'm also going to connect that uh, concept with it. Alright, so let's say I'm a very lousy student and uh, this is all I can do, then uh, I'm just going to save it. Demo. Alright, if I want, I can print it, I can export this to a PDF, uh, also call it demo. And I couldn't take a, could take a look at it now, but I won't, but you can, uh, but you can use that. Alright, so this was the student module, now we're going back to the assessor module again. So back at the assessment module again. So the student just sent me the assessor this uh, this file he or she made, and I now will evaluate uh, his or her work. So I have to open up this demo file, and this will show me the um, the concept map that he or she made, and I need to with F1 to judge the concept and with F2 to classify the examples. And you can see that these uh, concepts are red, which means that there's work for me to do to grade them. So I'm going to click F1 now. Um, so um, it's about software, and I think it's um, I can give it a grade: uh, complexity of one, concreteness of zero, and specificity of two. Then I'm done, and I've just uh, graded or evaluated this concept. With instrument, I can do the same with F1, and instead of using this. Uh, these grades, I'm going to tally the relevancies. So this is a very dull example because this concept has um, doesn't have any connections to anything else and it has one example and I can say alright well this example is well it's not complex, it is concrete, it is specific. Uh, I can click OK there and this will bring me to the predefined uh, grades of a 002. Let's say I want to change it, I can do that. So this one has a specificity of C of 1, I'm going to store it, done. But for here you also see this little label there, those are examples, I'm going to classify it with F2. 
So Phantom Bogus at all, that's an article. I'm going to name this as miscellaneous. Uh, it's a classification and I'm going to store it. So now I'm done. Everything is green here, except for the focal question. You can't grade that one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it just for giggles. Here we save this demo. And here we can generate the the, uh, yeah, the, the diagnostic grades. So the assessor is of course, uh, well, that's also me, so uh, well, just, just put it there. And these diagnostic values, uh, they give an overview of the concepts here. They show me uh, the distribution of how the examples are graded. Um, some values are generated here and I will save the assessment. And I can also export this one to a PDF demo assessor. And I'm going to save it. So if I want to print it, I can do that. Um, so this is a quick overview of Brainweaver. I will show some more videos about how to use different aspects of it. But th this is it. Um, enjoy Brainweaver!